Hey guys, this is Daniel, and today we're going to install an oil catch can. Let's see what we got to work with. So let's open this puppy up, let's see what we got. So this is a very basic catch can, I bought it on Amazon. I don't even know, $20, $25 because I bought it five months ago, maybe six months ago, and I always wanted to do a project with it. I just never could get myself to install it because I don't know if it, if it even matters. Um, so let's see what this is constructed of. It looks like it's aluminum. It unscrews right here on the bottom. So this is gonna be something you have to keep in mind when you install this and is it installed in the car you gotta drop this off with this thing potentially filled with oil and there's even a little dipstick right on here so you can check how much oil is in it which is not bad which I have seen some other ones the the only way to check how much oil is in it is to take this off but the first thing I noticed when you're trying to put this back together it's crooked on the bottom and so it won't allow this to come in properly so if you're trying to screw this in it's not gonna work so this needs to be bent out a little bit let's see if it works much better and that horrible noise is gone too there we go so I originally bought it for my Chrysler 200 and then I ended up going down the, the YouTube rabbit hole and then I thought maybe I shouldn't install it, maybe I don't need it. Uh, if you have a turbo uh, powered car, this is probably a great idea because there's so much compression in there, a lot of pressure and probably more blow by. I don't have any cars that are turbo. Um, so I thought, let me try to install it in my wife's car. And if it has any benefits, three months, five months, a year down the road, I'll consider buying a high quality one for my car. So let's open it up, let's see where we can install it and what we need to do to get this placed. So basically this is what we need to do to get it installed. There's a line coming out of the engine that allows all the blow by gases to come out and it's going back into the air box. So all we have to figure out where to mount it. And uh, so we have a nice clean factory looking installation and uh, hopefully it's gonna last, so let's see what happens. So check this out, look how much oil there already is coming out of here. Let's clean this up a little bit. So I thought the catch can will be more of a gimmick, but it looks like there's something to it. Look at all this crap. So let's run a line from here to the catch can back into here. So with this tiny little engine and this big engine bay, you would think there's an easy spot where you can mount it. So I'm trying to come up with a spot and uh, I just can't seem to find anything that's close enough. If I mount it on the other side of the engine, I have enough space, the problem is, I gonna have to run lines back and forth, which I don't really wanna do. So let's see what we can find. So what I'm thinking is to mount it right here. This is just a cover to hold the plastic against the piece of metal that's behind it. So if I remove this, mount it right here, I have a short uh, hose that's going in here and I might even use the original one that goes right back in here and I still have enough space for it to be serviced. So let's see if it fits with the car cover. It's just fine. Let's mount it. All right, so in the process of taking this apart and seeing where I can mount it, I've discovered this car actually has a strut tower brace. Check this out. So it goes right on here. This is from the factory. Look at that. 
coming right across to this side. So this is pretty cool. So now my question is how are we gonna mount it to here? I guess I need to find a bolt that goes through here and holds it securely because this is an actual tube that goes all around. It's, it seems like the way it feels, it might, it's welded in the back. So, I don't want to drill any holes, so let me see if I can find a bolt that will go through and hold it steady without ever loosening. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to install this right in here and attach the oil catch can right on top of it. So for temporary installation, we're gonna just put this in here. It took me longer to figure out where to mount it than to actually install it. It could have been done in probably 10-15 minutes if you already know where it's gonna go. Um, I didn't want to bury it down on the bottom um, because I want to be able to access it very easily. There's hundreds of locations where I could have installed it, but I think this one is the most easiest way to get to it when you need to. Plus, I'm just testing. I don't think it's a permanent installation, but we'll see how that works out. The other thing is, I just secured temporarily the, the whole catch can. You see how wiggly it is. Uh, I'm gonna have to go to the car parts store, get a bolt and then bolt it in there uh, with some thread locker to make sure this doesn't move whatsoever. Also that hose, that hose is crap. There's already a kink in it from the factory because of the way they wrapped it. And after installation, this kink is not coming out. So I don't know how much airflow is gonna come through it. So I'm gonna have to go and buy a different hose and just flex it right in there. So before we drive the car, that's definitely something that needs to be fixed or all that stuff is useless. Uh, the cool thing about this, I can see if there's any oil accumulation inside the hose. Um, this, I think it fit best on this car because it is a four cylinder. When we drive normal, the car revs in regular traffic to 3000 RPM. My car, I barely get over two and a half thousand RPM and the Mercedes, in regular driving rarely over 2000 rpm so if you're having a higher revving engine especially those little turbo engines a two liter that's pushing 300 plus horsepower i can see where it's definitely a benefit on my cars i think this is the only car that probably is going to benefit from it and you've seen how oily it was when i took it off originally so it's definitely some oil coming out and it's probably from all the high revving that this car does on a daily driving that being said, let me get out of here, let me clean up, let me button this up, and we're done. I will update you maybe in about six months or as soon as this fills up, just to give you a little update what happened and uh, what's going on there. Until next time, take care.